That is yeah, cool. baby! Bloopin'! Get a bait in the water, guys! Oh, there we go! Alright, we gotta get a bait in the water here. Let's take a step back to give some context. A fan who became a friend invited Cam, our producer, and I to go fishing for bluefin and yellowtail. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Islands trip. You know, on Coronados. Meet Joe. Joe said something that made it so Cam and I had to check it out. He said we're gonna be fishing next to bluefin tuna farms. Time to go catch some fish, y'all. And just like that, Cam and I were booking our trip to see these open ocean pin farms in person and learn more about them so we can share it with you. But first, a quick stop at the bait dock. This is my first fishing trip on the west coast and I've never seen anything like this. The bait sellers have tens of thousands of sardine inside of these docks and they use a net attached to bamboo to scoop them out. Something out of an old school scene that's still happening today in 2024. It's pretty wild. Live bait acquired. Now let's check out these tuna farms and catch some fish. Go get a good bait out there, guys. Come on. We should be catching these things. We're going to let that guy out. We want him to swim away from the boat. Yes, please. Keep swimming away from the boat. Please get eaten. Behind us, we've got these giant operations. It's kind of crazy. Where apparently they've got tuna and pins. Yep. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so back behind us, we've got the Mexican purse sanding fleet. Essentially what they're doing is they go out and they catch wild bluefin tuna and they catch them in these big pens. They wrap them in a giant net. And once they do that, they bring those pens into the islands here. It's nice and calm back behind us. So they'll bring it inside these islands and they essentially raise these bluefin tuna. Usually when they catch them, they're 60 pounds-ish, somewhere in that range. And they'll fatten them up. They feed them three to four times a day. And they'll grow those fish to be two, 300 pounds. So they catch a smaller tuna, bring it to these pens, fatten them up, and then sell the larger fish that has like a higher fat grade? Yeah, so they fatten them up and most of this fish ends up getting sold to Japan. Uh, these nets that they have them in here are the actual nets that they catch them in. So these bigger boats will go out and they'll use a small skiff and they'll drag a net behind the skiff in a circle around the school of fish and it'll enclose the net on the bottom of it and they're trapped and they'll catch an entire school in one net. That is wild, <laughs> dude. And then once they have that school of fish in the pen in the net, they'll drag it in here and they'll anchor it up in the shallows here and they'll sit here and this is where they raise them. Nice school yellowtail right behind the boat, eating our bait. For my fellow Floridians, this is not yellowtail snapper, but yellowtail jack in the same family as Amberjack. I'm gonna walk up the bow. Joe just hooked up to the first yellowtail of the trip. Woo! Oh, this is a good one. I told you that hat was gonna work. It's all it takes sometimes. Unlike Amberjack, yellowtail is a prized fish and sought after for its superior texture when eaten raw. You've likely seen it on a sushi menu without knowing it was a jack because they only refer to it as yellowtail or hamachi, which hamachi is just yellowtail jack. This is why Joe is taking the extra steps to brain spike this yellowtail and send a wire down its spine. This process is called aikijeme, and Joe will explain it better for us later. In the meantime, I'm ready to catch my first California fish. This is live action. He's got the lucky hat on, man. That's good news. Little tail splashing in the corner. All right, you guys, we're gonna get up in about 75 feet of water here. We just saw some yellowtail jumping, so we stopped at the next spot, letting out our first sardine. Hopefully, we get tight, you guys. Go, 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 go! go. Barracuda. Yeah. Barracuda. That's not what we're looking for. No. Back home, we call Barracuda Big Stinky because that's what they do to your cooler. I have a backyard. I'm going to have a boat with it. Oh, yellowtail right there. Jumping out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Calico. 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 That's awesome. First Calico on the boat. Now this is at least great table fare, but it's not what we're after. 
Just hooked into my first fish. Hey, we're both on biters. When it first took off, it did a lot of vibrating, so it's taking more of bluefin. That'd be sick. <laughs> that would be it. my first bluefin too. Oh man, he's peeling draggy guys. Dude, Look at that. Nice. We got a good fish on. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, I see color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah. yeah, baby! Bluefin! First ever bluefin. Yeah! There we go. So the reason we do this is to uh, extend the shelf life of the fish and uh, delay the onset of mortis. That fish right there is clinically dead, never gonna move again. It delays the buildup of the lactic acid, reduces the stress that the animal feels. Otherwise, it feels like it's out of water. Um, this way, it's truly dead. So far better, uh, far better humane kill for the fish and uh, yields much better table fare. So. Dude, Joe, Woo! happy to be here with you, Reed. After this point, the fish were fired up and everyone on board was pulling in tuna and yellowtail, even Joe's girlfriend. This is Dylan, <laughs> Joe's best friend, who is great company and an absolute fish killing machine on this trip. I can feel the neural canal. I've done this enough. And see, that's the bottom of the fish right there. Done. That's to the tail. EKG made. And then this is how we take care of the gills. Well, you guys, we're almost to one of my favorite parts about fishing, processing the catch. And boy, do I have my work cut out for me because Mission Bell put us on plenty of fish. I got to cut these fish in the craziest fish processing facility I've ever seen. Check out the video linked above and we'll catch you guys next time. Have a killer day.